Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the Fury B QAV95. But before we get into it, let me give my shout out to my Notification Squad winner. Today's Notification Squad winner is James Clemens. Congratulations, James. He was the first to say first in one of my recent videos. You too can be a Notification Squad winner. All you got to do is be the first to say first in when I, one of my videos is released. Okay, what do I got here? This is the QAV95. It is obviously a micro FPV racer. Um, it is a rebranding and also a up, slight upgrade of the GoFly uh, CP90, which was previously released a few months back. Um, the upgrades on it include uh, uh, built-in receiver. The QAV or the CP90 did not come with a receiver. This one has a version that's available with FreeSky receiver already installed. An additional upgrade to this one is this now includes a uh, 25 and six, supposedly 600 milliwatt FPV transmitter, folks. 600 milliwatt FPV transmitter on a micro. So that should be interesting. We got Omnibus F3 flight control board uh, loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.2. Uh, the FPV has on-screen display. Also, we got a buzzer installed in this. And the motors, the brushless motors on this are 1104-7500 kV motors. Uh, with, with a 20 amp 4 in 1 BL Heli uh, S D shot ESC right there, folks. And again, I mentioned this is available in Free Sky or Plug and Play. Uh, if you get Plug and Play, you're going to have to install your own battery or your own uh, receiver. The way to access the receiver, you got to remove this screw here and this screw here and this panel here uh, pivots out so you can plug in a little micro receiver in there. Again, the one I got here uh, is a, a buy and a fly with a free sky already, a free sky transmitter or receiver. Um, it's D16, so you're going to need a 16 channel. Set your uh, your uh, transmitter to 16 if you have a um, free sky transmitter. I'm going to be using my jumper today. <laughs> I have it set to D16 and is that capable of D16. So, uh, one thing about this, this quadcopter did not come with a battery. you got to supply your own battery. It's capable of using 2S or 3S batteries. I'm using a 3S 450 milliamp per hour, um, but we got this XT30 connector, so you're going to need to get an XT30 connector battery or have an adapter that's capable of uh, using your batteries. So, let's go for a fly this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're going to start out in angle mode and do a line of sight flight first. And I got set the angle and I'm arming it uh, now. Motor should be armed. Oops, if I did this correctly. Oh, I probably am in the wrong D or hold on folks. Let me make sure I am in uh, D16. Which no, no, this is the wrong free sky. <laughs> hold on, let me load it. Free sky D16, selecting. We should be good to go now. Yep, now we got obviously got control of this so with my jumper here I, again I'm I can fly it with this okay arming and we should be armed ready to go in angle mode let's try a punch oh tons of punch especially with this 3s battery um, this is capable of flying 2s or 3s but again I got it I got 3s set onto this oh it's a very good flyer Bring it in one more time. We'll do one more punch to show you the punch. So this should be... Wow. Okay, bringing it in, and we'll go right into Acro. Hold on, folks. Bringing it back. Bring, actually, bring it up close so you can see it. There it is. And we'll land it and go into Acro Fly. I'll just put it there. Okay, disarm me <laughs> and put it on my goggles. Hold on, folks. Here we go, putting on the goggles and selecting Acro and arming the motors. And we should be good to go. Here we go, folks. Let me get a feel for it first. I should have raised up the uh, camera just a little bit. Now, I supposedly have this set to, well, what's my battery saying, 10.3 volts, I just charged that thing. Hey. 
<laughs> I tried something there. Going around again. So, um, yeah, it's flying reasonably well. Yeah, let's try out that uh, transmitter. The 600 milliwatt transmitter. I don't know if I got it really set to 600 milliwatts because I am seeing a little bit of uh, messing up there, but it says it's 9.9 .9 volts already. Maybe that battery I got isn't the best battery I put in here. But I'm going to take it all the way down to 9. Oh, oh, 8, 8. I'm coming back, folks. That's not right. Okay. Uh, well, that battery is just not doing it. Um, you are going to need to get a high C rating battery. Uh, this one did not like it. I'm going to take the hat back again. So, uh, sorry, folks. That's the sh this is the only battery I got for this particular quadcopter that has that uh, XT30 connector. But yeah, you're going to need a hefty battery for this thing. And this generic one that I got here just it will not hack it. But uh, it flew reasonably well for the flight time I got out of it. <laughs> it was relatively short. It had a lot of punch there. But those two punches, few punches I did there, really sucked the battery powder <laughs> out of this battery. So you're going to need a high C rating battery with this particular quadcopter. Keep okay, uh, this is another day. I'm going to do one more flight with the QAV95. I got a fresh battery in it. Uh, it's the same battery. It's 450 milliamp per hour uh, 3S battery uh, with 45C C, C rating. Uh, it should be enough for this. I'm just curious if I flew the, fly this um, strictly in acro mode, none of those punch outs like I did in the beginning of the other ones, uh, how will it fly? So let's see how long it flies strictly in acro mode. Here we go. And let me get a feel for it. And a little bit of darkening of the screen. I'm not sure what's causing that. But already I'm down at 10.3 volts. Okay, back to 10.6. So this thing, you know, really sucks the voltage when you're really pushing it. I'm just going to go gentle with it for now. Um, really, you really need a real high C rating battery. I'm, I'm guessing an 80C to fly this thing properly. Otherwise, otherwise you get that. <laughs> Ooh, look at the air again. I'm going to go to air mode and try that again. Okay, we are in air mode. Let's try that again. That's better. <laughs> I'll fly the remainder of this in air mode. But again, you know, it's already done saying 10.5 volts. Um, so, you know, it's really, you can't push this thing <laughs> unless you got a proper battery for it. You have to have a very good battery for it, in other words. You know, 45C battery, you'd think it would be good enough, but it's not. Because it'll, you have to be gentle with it with a 45C. Because this thing really sucks power. It's, it's a powerful uh, quadcopter. And I'm not going too fast either. Mainly reason, main reason being, I, I don't have an ADC battery with uh, that type of connector on it. So... I can do that with this battery if I fly gentle. If I fly gentle, I can. Uh, already, I'm down to 10.1 volt. Look at that, 10.2. So I'm going to try to stay close in here. 10.3, 10.4. So you see how I, that sucked the juice out of it doing that little maneuver back there. Okay, it's 10.3. I'm going to have to start thinking of coming in closer now. But yeah, this particular quadcopter, if you want to fly properly, you're going to need a, I got to land, you're going to need an ADC battery. I'll plop it here. We'll plop it there. And my fl total flight time was 2 minutes and 41 seconds, it looks like. Um, I'll take that hat on. So, yeah, I, I've seen others fly this, uh, like Andy, Andy RC. Um, uh, he had a good battery <laughs> for the lizard, I believe. Uh, but this battery, the one I'm using here, was just not uh, appropriate for it. You're going to need something again with uh, high C rating.
for this particular quadcopter. It, it really draws the juice, okay, and other electricity from the battery. You know, again, this was a 450 milliamp per hour, uh, 45C, 3S battery. Just wasn't enough for this quadcopter. So keep that in mind if you're going for the uh, QAV95, get yourself a good battery, okay? Quadcopter 101, signing out. <laughs>